It's an interesting time to be Intel. Between rumors of an alleged Qualcomm takeover bid, That's bad. the recent fanfare around Core Ultra Series 2 laptop launches, That's good. and ongoing drama over stability issues in its 13th and 14th gen desktop chips, That's bad. there's a lot going on. So you can be forgiven for not remembering that we're rapidly approaching the expected release window for new 15th gen desktop processors, aka Arrow Lake, aka Core Ultra for desktop. And these new CPUs will be crucial in bringing heat to AMD in terms of performance per watt in particular, because right now those 13 and 14900K chips are known to run pretty toasty. So let's jump into what we know so far about Intel's 15th gen Arrow Lake CPUs. So originally, it was planned for these processors to be built on Intel's 20A process as part of its ongoing four-year roadmap. But since then, the company has confirmed that, like its Lunar Lake laptop processors, Arrow Lake will be fabricated by TSMC, the Taiwanese chip giant that builds everything from Qualcomm's Snapdragon X Elite to Apple's M-series SoCs, using the firm's 3 nanometer process. Given that the current 14th gen desktop lineup is built on Intel 7, its 10 nanometer process, this would be a substantial upgrade for Intel. And based on what we've seen from the efficiency of Lunar Lake Core Ultra laptops, it bodes well for fully fledged desktop CPUs built on that same process. Obviously, the other side of that coin is the loss of face from not being able to keep the manufacturing 100% in house. And there's been plenty of speculation online about just how much of an impact 20A would have had on the 15th gen processors had that now dead process been used. A post on Anantec's forum suggested we could have seen an approximate 15% gain in multi-core performance. With the switch to TSMC though, we're still expecting to see a considerable improvement over the current gen. Intel says it's still on track for 18A, the successor to the ill-fated 20A to launch in 2025, with its Clearwater Forest Xeon chips expected to be the first manufactured on that next-gen process. Details of the new socket for Intel's 15th gen chip, LGA1851, have been out for a while now thanks to both 2D and 3D renders that were released by enthusiast site Eagle's Lab. Reportedly, LGA1851 was originally intended for Intel's cancelled Meteor Lake S desktop processors, however, those were canned before launch, so as a result, we're not seeing it until Arrow Lake is arriving. An LGA1851 was also planned to be used for the mid cycle refresh of the Arrow Lake S desktop chips, but in recent days, it's been reported that that refresh has likely been shelved, which would leave the first gen, and I guess only gen, Arrow Lake S desktop chips as the only ones using this socket. The proper successor to Arrow Lake, Nova Lake, is also rumored to use LGA1851, but that's far from confirmed at the moment and could change as Nova Lake approaches its likely 2026 launch window. And the LGA1851 socket is also expected to bring a slew of changes to the table, with the first one being its ability to directly connect a dedicated PCIe 5.04x interface to the CPU. This is in addition to the 16x lanes going to the GPU, meaning it'll result in native support for PCIe 5.0 SSDs that can achieve insanely high read and write speeds. The overall physical dimensions of LGA1851 will remain largely the same as the LGA1700 socket, with just a minor difference to the Z height, this is the difference from the top of the motherboard to the top of the CPU's integrated heatsink. So CPU cooler manufacturers may need to churn out newer hardware to fit the newer socket. Artificial intelligence is still a hot topic right now, and we're expecting Intel to capitalize on demand for AI-centric silicon in its 15th gen processors with one or two caveats. Arrow Lake may utilize the Intel XE LPG Plus GPU architecture, which will benefit from extended matrix extensions XMX, which is an AI acceleration engine. This would enable the new Intel chips to expedite data processing as well as boosting other areas like graphics and video performance. Intel is set to market Arrow Lake as the world's first gaming CPUs with an AI accelerator. AI has obviously been a huge focus for Intel's mobile chips of late, with Lunar Lake laptops gaining Microsoft's Copilot Plus PC branding. However, leaked specs indicate that Arrow Lake will likely miss out on Copilot Plus certification, with its onboard MPU rated at 10 tops. That's far short of the 40 tops requirement for Copilot Plus demanded by Microsoft. Graphics wise, the apparent use of first gen Intel Arc Alchemist GPU cores, as opposed to anything based on the newer second gen Battle Mage architecture from Lunar Lake, is a curiosity to say the least. Though, let's face it, gamers and other high performance users will likely be pairing these chips with a beefy dedicated GPU anyway. 
According to reports from Benchlife by PC Gamer, the official launch date for the first raft of new Arrow Lake chips is a lock for October 24th, with more motherboards and variants set to follow in early 2025. Light breaking leaks from that Taiwanese publication confirm the move to Core Ultra branding for these desktop chips, with 200 series numbering familiar from the Lunar Lake laptop chips. At the high end, you're looking at a Core Ultra 9 285K with max clocks up to 5.7 GHz and max power consumption of 250 watts in turbo mode with 40 megs of L2 cache, 8 performance and 16 efficiency cores. And at the lower end, the Core Ultra 5 245K packs 6P cores, 8E cores and 26 megs of L2 cache, plus a TVB speed of up to 5.2 GHz. PL1 TDPs for the whole range, that is the average power threshold, is reported at 125 watts, which matches several pre-release leaks. On both counts, that about matches the known power draw specifications of Intel's 13th and 14th gen Raptor Lake desktop chips. Also, no hyperthreading in any of these chips, which makes sense in the context of Intel recently killing off hyperthreading in its Lunar Lake laptop chips. And bad news if you're sitting on fat stacks of DDR4, as the Arrow Lake chips are said to ditch support for that kind of memory, so you'll have to splurge on a few DDR5 kits for any future 15th gen build. As with things like AMD processors and NVIDIA GPUs, we'd recommend holding out until we learn a little bit more ahead of launch and performance figures have been confirmed. Relatively modern processors like AMD's Ryzen 6000, 12th gen Intel Core and above are still fantastic chips with plenty of power to handle more demanding games and software. And for games in particular, you're much more likely to see performance boost from upgrading your GPU as opposed to CPU. The latest and greatest CPU is far from a requirement to enjoy a smooth and stable experience, and of course that applies to Arrow Lake just like any other generation of CPU. So we'll just have to wait and see how good these chips turn out to be. So yeah, interesting times over at Intel. You've got the triumphant launch of Lunar Lake in the mobile space, though with performance and efficiency there achieved through the use of TSMC's manufacturing capabilities following the cancellation of 20A, and the apparent demise of the Arrow Lake S refresh means a lot is resting on the success of the chips launching in October, as CPU buyers could be waiting until 2026 before there's any real successor to these upcoming 15th gen chips. Whether or not you're in the market for a new desktop CPU in the coming months, hit the comments, let us know what you think of Intel's changing fortunes over the past few months, and stick around and subscribe for more reviews of those second gen Core Ultra laptops coming very soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.